every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? You could be driving a Honda. Improved from the front grill to the tailgate and equipped to take you on the adventure of a lifetime, the ride is just different in this new pilot seat. Come see the all-new 2023 Honda Pilot. Now on sale at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda, on Seagan Lane. Few things in life are as valuable as family and peace of mind, especially when it comes to your final arrangements. And that's where Dignity Memorial can help. Our prepaid funeral plans make sure that your life will be remembered exactly the way you want it to. At Dignity Memorial, no detail is too large or too small. Call Lee Serio at 225-315-6329. That's 315-6329. Dignity Memorial, the peace of mind your family deserves. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. the feeling Welcome as we start the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know the drill, guys and girls. Here's hoping that your little slice of South Louisiana heaven has been absolutely wonderful since the last time we got to spend a little time with you and yours. As we normally do, we start the show with Louisiana news. And there is something in the criminal justice system that is setting up to be a pretty contentious issue. Don't know how many of you are aware, but just about every single inmate on death row here in Louisiana this week petitioned Governor John Bell Edwards to pardon or commute their death penalty sentences to life in prison without the possibility of parole. As you can probably imagine, there are a whole lot of people that don't want this to happen. Primarily, the family members of the victims who were killed by these individuals currently sitting on death row. Governor John Bell Edwards, as you I'm sure are well aware, is a staunch opponent of the death penalty. And he makes no bones about that fact. That's simply who he is. He's against the death penalty. But not only are families outraged at the governor's possibly entertaining this petition, many of the prosecutors who put these individuals on death row for these heinous crimes are outraged as well. For example, I'm sure you know this name from stories in the past regarding heinous crimes in the state of Louisiana. Former East Baton Rouge first assistant DA and currently the chief deputy attorney general John Sinkfield saying the following quote it would be an absolute injustice in fact a tragedy to the family members of the victims of these 51 people on death row and have been convicted by a jury and sentenced to death. These cases have been in the judicial system for years. Most of these people are represented by very capable attorneys and they're in the very stages of the appellate or post-conviction procedure. And the outcomes should be left to the court. These secondary victims 
have been engaged in years of court proceedings and it would absolutely destroy some of these family members for the persons convicted of murdering their loved ones to just be arbitrarily released from the death penalty. We are going to obviously keep an eye on this story and any and all developments that occur in that regard, we will be sure to pass that information along to you and yours. Speaking of the criminal justice system and Louisiana, it was announced this week that, speaking of, Governor John Bell Edwards signed into law Senate Bill 169 as the recently completed legislative session came to an end. This legislation would ensure that rape kits don't get lost in the process. I will be the first to admit I had no idea that the problem was this bad. In 2022, according to State Senator Beth Mizell, our state had a backlog of 830 rape kits. When, God bless them, a woman is accused or accuses someone of rape, as you well know, when they go to the hospital, there's a rape kit compiled. They swab for DNA, semen, other things. That kit is then sent for analysis to get justice for these women. To lose 830 of these kits shows a major shortcoming. In addition, this legislation now allows us to join 40, four zero other states that already have addressed this issue. You know, as, as a longtime Louisianian, I am ashamed to say, I've become accustomed many times to our state being amongst the last states to do something for its citizens that everyone else is already doing. It could be something as simple as right turn on red after stop. Funny story real quick. I had to MC an event one night downtown Baton Rouge and the host of the event was gracious enough to comp me accommodations for the night. Had to rent a tuxedo went off and left my wallet in the hotel room in the tuxedo. So the next morning, I go home. I realize this. I'm in a panic. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't have ID. I don't have anything. So I rush back to the hotel. One block away from the hotel, I stop at the red light. I look left. I look right. I realize it's a one-way street. Just so happens, at the time, the news department that I worked for, my beat was the legislature. I was there when they passed the law that if you come to an intersection, there's a red light. If it's a one-way street, you can turn left on red if it's a one-way street that you're turning on to. I was there when they passed it. So you know me. I went on and turned. Whoop, whoop, whoop. City police officer pulls me over. I said, yes, sir. How can I help you? He lit into me like nobody's business. Did you see that red light? Uh, yes, sir, officer, I did. You know you ran that red light? I said, well, Officer, I realized it was one way. Light was red. I checked for oncoming traffic. The law says that I can turn left on red, provided it's a one-way street that I'm turning onto. I know the law. Don't tell me the law. So at this point, I'm saying, okay, let, 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 let's diffuse this. I said, officer, with all due respect, I'm a news reporter. And... 
part of my beat is covering the Louisiana legislature. I was at the Capitol when the bill was passed that in our state you can make a left turn on red provided the street you are turning on to is a one way. If you will call, I said to the officer, if you will call the office and inquire, they'll back up what I'm telling you. All right, well, you sit right there. Don't you move. I said, no, sir, I'm not going anywhere. So sure enough, he goes back to his cruiser. I see him on the phone making a call. A few minutes later, he rather sheepishly <laughs> walked back to my car and said, uh, Mr. Bugs, you're right. I'm sorry. I said, officer, that's not a problem. They just passed the law. So obviously, they didn't do a good enough job of informing law enforcement that this is now the law. I don't, I don't fault you. I have no problem with you. We very graciously shook hands, and he said, now go get your license and be careful. But had I not been there when the law was passed, I would not have known. Just a, just a story, y'all. Just a story. What you say again, Marty? I probably would not have turned. You're right. <laughs> You're right. That's why I love Marty. Always think it. Finally, in Louisiana news, uh, some good news for one of our most treasured institutions in Louisiana, our schools and our children. Our state recently has been the beneficiary of some $20 million dollars to enhance school security around the state. This will include uh, closed circuit surveillance systems, remote locking, keys of that, things of that sort, in addition to retrofitting some of our older schools with updated school security measures. It is a very sad commentary that we even have to have this discussion it is even still a sadder commentary that once that was an institution that we never had to worry about mass shootings, stabbings, things of that nature. We now have to spend $20 million just in our state to try and curtail it. I guess the old adage that comes to mind in this regard would have to be the ounce of prevention is worth more than the pound of cure. If this is what it takes to ensure the safety of arguably our most treasured possessions, our kids, then so be it. Let's just hope that this money will be used for its intended purpose and there won't be any shenanigans involved in the spending thereof. We are heading up to our first break. When we come back, I want to talk to you about the way we used to be and how the promise of America this week brought to mind how proud I am to call these people my fellow Americans. That's next when we continue with segment two of the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher. This is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information and then we'll give you the context. We and by the way, 
We'll give you fun, too. Uh, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state. We even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. You could be driving Smooth handling and smart interior styling. Just two reasons why the all-new Honda CRV was once again named a car and driver's 10 best trucks and SUV list. Come see your new CRV today at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Hi, gang. Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. I thought about this segment when I ran across this story last night and I thought the most appropriate label for this segment would include among other things the way we used to be if you have seen my show listen to me on radio for any number of years you know I often reference the adage, quote, politics makes for strange bedfellows. Meaning, in a country with the promise of America, there are going to be times where people from differing political persuasions, agendas, parties, find common ground in an effort to better this country. I guess I could also label this segment. I am proud to call these people my fellow Americans. Have you seen this story? The story comes out of, and, and I know I'm probably going to butcher the name of the city, so I apologize on my behalf in advance and hope that they will charge it to my head and not to my heart. Hamtramck, H-A-M-T-R-A-M-C-K, Hamtramck, Michigan, suburb of Detroit. Their city council this week entertained a motion and passed into law making it illegal for any flag other than the United States flag to be flown on any government property. 
Oh, did I mention the entire city council is made up of Muslim Americans? That city has an enormous legal immigrant population. Many of these Muslims come from countries where they know firsthand what oppression, censorship, government intrusion is all about. Because they've lived it. They have literally been there and done that. So they decided that if our city owns this property, the only flag that can be flown on this property is the official flag of the United States of America. This came about because individuals there wanted to fly the LGBTQ flags and gay pride flags in the city. And the city council said, uh, no, not in our city. At one point, as you can imagine, they allowed the public to comment on this before they voted on the issue. I have no idea who this guy is, but I'll tell you this, I am proud to call him my fellow American. One individual who immigrated here from Yemen got up to speak and because of my father's military service and my appreciation for the military I hope that I can read you what he said without tearing up this individual said the following. Remember, this is a Muslim United States citizen. When given the opportunity to address the city council and let them know his feelings about this, he said the following, quote, I owe my success and my livelihood, first and foremost, to the creator himself, to God Almighty, and then to this great country. Our soldiers fought, bled, and died in the jungles of Iwo Jima and the beaches of Omaha so that you and I can live with peace, prosperity, and freedom. Those soldiers fought under the American flag and no other. It is shameful and embarrassing to have any other flag on public buildings. You have the freedom to display whatever you wish in your home or your private business. We respect all nations, cultures, and their flags. But we only salute the American flag. Did you catch something in that quote This fellow American, formerly of Yemeni citizenship, said, our soldiers. He didn't say American soldiers fought under our flag. He said, our soldiers. I am proud to have him as a fellow American. 
Now, you know what's going to be really, really interesting about all this? I already know the answer, but I figured I'd throw it out there just for the sake of conversation. Since every single member of that city council that voted to fly only the American flag, since every single one of them is a Muslim, do you think the liberals, the Democrats, and those on the left are going to attack and demonize them the way they do we Christians? You already know the answer. You already know. They wouldn't dare. Because English teachers, forgive me, in three, two, one. They know them folk don't play that. They know. The Muslim folks, uh-uh, bro, they don't play that. It is really going to be interesting to see what the liberal reaction is to the law that they passed. Sadly, however, that's the way we used to be. You know, I guess I have to understand that in our country, there is a sizable percentage of people who've never been fortunate enough to live in any other country other than this one. And as a result, they have no true appreciation for the dangers of socialism, communism, the liberal agenda. Because after all, they've spent every waking moment of their lives in the United States of America. And every now and then, you encounter someone who has been there and done that. Yemen, Cuba, Venezuela, North Korea, Iran, go down the list. And God blesses them to become a part of what we have here. They will tell you in no uncertain terms. This is the best there is y'all. This gentleman. Talking about. Our soldiers also took the time to point out the fact that as Americans, sometimes it's easy for us to forget what we have here. These folks have an appreciation like very few Americans do. It's true for Louisiana. Our state has one of, if not the largest population of people that have never lived anyplace else. So they have no clue that there are other and many times better ways of doing things. They just think this is how it is and how it's always been and how it should be. Only because they've never been exposed to anything else. These folks have been there and done that. And as a result, they cherish more than very few native-born Americans do. The freedoms, the rights, and the liberties that we enjoy. Tip of the hat to those good folks in Michigan. And they are in the middle of lib land. They see it every single day. But their resolve to fight this is unwavered. And that is why I am proud to call those folks my fellow American. Bottom of the hour break. Coming up just around the corner, but I got to take a, se a second. And tell you guys and girls about my dear friend Lee Serio. 
You probably know him from the Lee Serial Band. Lead singer, many weekends. He's right here at Old School Barbecue. But his regular job, his real job, is helping ordinary folks like you and I get prepared for that inevitability of death. I hate to be the one to break this to y'all. I truly do. But you do realize that you're going to die one day, don't you? Oh, I know it's a shock. I know. I get it. I've been there, done that. But is your family ready for it? Here's what I mean. Lee Serio is connected with Dignity Memorial and over 2,000 funeral homes around this country. And they specialize in prepaid and planned funerals. Imagine the peace of mind that you can have that when you finally decide to face it, yeah, one day God going to call me home. I'm not going to be here anymore. But funerals are already paid for, already arranged, and my family will not have to worry about that. They're going to have enough to worry about. This will not be one of those things. If peace of mind and comfort for your family is what you care about, you need to call my friend Lee. 225-315-6329. 225-315-6329. No detail is too large or too small. Give him a call and be sure, do your buddy Clarence a favor, let Lee Serio know that you heard about him right here on the Clarence Buck Show. Bottom of the hour break. When we come back, uh-oh, looks like he was right once again. That's next. When we continue the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com Come see the all-new Mazda CX-90. Now on sale at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School Prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Spiders. Premier Pest. 
Christ Services. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, one of the things that I have always been enamored with about the idiosyncrasies of the human experience is how, on occasion, someone will say something and the media, their political opposites, and others will lose their minds over what this person said. They start calling them crazy, stupid, all sorts of ugly names. And then, if you are so fortunate, fly, sorry. If you're so fortunate as to have God bless you to live long enough, you find out later on, son of a gun, he was actually right. Remember when then President Donald J. Trump uttered the statement that made the left go insane. The president labeled the media in this country an enemy of the people. Oh my God, the left lost it. Well, a couple of things happened this week that makes me, as a somewhat analytical individual, say, wow, I guess he was right. As you well know by now, Donald J. Trump this week indicted, arrested. That was all the news. Here's what you may not know. On the very same day, a report came out from a former government official in Ukraine and a member, high-ranking member, of the energy company Burisma. He alleges in this report that he paid Hunter Biden $5 million in what he knew was a bribe and he paid then Vice President Joe Biden $5 million in a bribe. And knowing it's a bribe, it's illegal, and what could possibly happen, he recorded on tape 17 conversations, 15 with Hunter Biden and two with then Vice President Joe Biden discussing the $10 million dollar bribe payment. That story broke the same day that the government rushed to arrest Donald Trump. In thinking about his statement, the media is the enemy of the people. The big three, ABC, NBC, and Marty's favorite, C, the BS, spent 291 minutes of covering Donald Trump's arrest. Between the three of them, 291 minutes of coverage. You want to guess how many minutes they gave 
to the story about a guy that says, I paid the Bidens a $10 million bribe, and I have the tape recordings to prove it. You know how many minutes they spent? <laughs> you, you, you already know. Zero. One of my late pastors was very fond of telling the congregation that there are lies of commission and lies of omission. Meaning, it's one thing to tell you a lie. It's something else to not let you know it's a lie. The media purposely went out of their way to keep this story out of the public eye. Now, for those of you that might be thinking right now, oh, that's class, he's conservative, you know, you know he's going to think that. Let me ask you this. If that same guy or somebody else went to the media and said, I paid Donald Trump a $10 million bribe and I've got tape recordings to prove it. What do you think the media would have done then? There are lies of commission and lies of omission. They very conveniently omitted this story from the news. Oh, by the way, did I also mention this week, while all the media was laser focused on Donald Trump's arrest, there was also another report issued. Reporter did the digging, compiled the research, has the receipts that he says, the reporter, proves that COVID-19 started in the Wuhan lab and they know the first three doctors who exhibited symptoms of COVID-19. Oh, and by the way, speaking of interesting sidebars, all three of the people he identifies by name were engaged in gain of function research with the coronavirus. Now, when Donald Trump called it the Wuhan flu, Oh, the liberals lost their minds. And now a report comes out that would vindicate what he said. And what was the media's response? Crickets. You know, with every passing day watching all of this unfold in the country that I love so dearly, it brings to mind the wisdom of the Founding Fathers. They knew way back then how important it was for the media to be free from undue influence. They knew that the only way average folk like us could make informed decisions is if we were truly informed. At one point in this country's history, you could grab that remote or, in my household, if it was your turn, get up and go change the channel on the TV. At one point, whatever news the dial stopped on, you could believe, now obviously, very naively that they were telling us the truth. You had no doubt 
whatsoever. That what these folks just told you on your television is the gospel truth. The idea of lying by omission never crossed our minds. And yet, this week, two of arguably the biggest stories on the planet got nothing but crickets. I tell you this, my fellow Americans. Because we live in the information age. We have at our disposal a very simple, small device that allows us at the touch of a button to access all the knowledge that mankind has, cre has, has amassed since its inception. You can find out anything on the planet on this little computer in your pocket that you're also able to call your friends on or watch TikTok videos. But if you don't use it judiciously, it's worthless. My late father, God bless him, used to have a statement that rings more true now than ever when he was alive. Sarge used to be fond of saying, son, there is nothing worse than an educated fool. You can have every alphabet behind your name, every degree on the planet, but without common sense, you're just an educated fool. That, my friends, is what they have pushed us to being. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can tell your friends about the Clarence Bug Show and we'll help them out. Scary times, my fellow Americans. And you know, again, I don't fault the politicians. I've been doing this long enough, y'all, to know. Politicians are who they are and they do what they do. I get it. But the media has a sacred trust that they have routinely violated spitting in the collective faces of the American public. Final break of today's show. We'll come back after we get her done, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and we'll wrap up the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. <laughs> Few things in life are as valuable as family and peace of mind, especially when it comes to your final arrangements. And that's where Dignity Memorial can help. Our prepaid funeral plans make sure that your life will be remembered exactly the way you want it to. At Dignity Memorial, no detail is too large or too small. Call Lee or Gretchen Serio at 225-315-6329. That's 315-6329. Dignity Memorial for the peace of mind you deserve. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. 
Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontis.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of the Thursday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Have you ever heard the old saying, what's in a name? Names have different ethnic origins, family origins, etc., etc. But every now and then, you run across someone whose name says, everything there is to say about them. Pop culture has become so prevalent in America these days, particularly with the advent of social media. And I have no idea who started it, but we call hypocrites and folks that are just out of their minds, we call them Karens. K-A-R-E-N-S. Now typically, when you hear someone call someone else a Karen, be honest, you think white female liberal. That's typically what you think. So this week, the mayor of the city of Los Angeles, California. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, y'all. This writes itself. Her name, Karen Bass, Mayor, L.A. She looked up, and there was a bus rolling in to L.A. Forty people. Uh, Marty, do, do me some quick research. What is, what is the population of L.A.? Yeah, roughly. Look, at, look it up for me, if you would, my friend. That many. Whole lot of them. So the bus pulls up and there's 40 people on the bus. The bus unloads and they realize, hey, these illegal immigrants from Texas. Greg Abbott put them on the bus when they illegally came across the Texas border and sent them to L.A., who proudly claims to be a sanctuary city. Mayor Karen Bass said the following, quote, it is abhorrent that an American elected official is using human beings as pawns in his cheap political game. Kind of makes you think she's talking about Joe Biden, but I digress. This evening, more than 40 people were sent by the governor of Texas to our city of Los Angeles. Shortly after I took office, I directed city departments to begin planning 
in the event L.A. would be on the receiving end of this despicable stunt that Republican governors have grown so fond of. This did not catch us off guard, nor will it intimidate us. Now it's time to execute our plan, our emergency management plan. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Marty. The population of Los Angeles, California, or as I like to call them, Lost Angeles, is four million people. Well, now it's four million and forty. And she loses her mind over forty people. Take the numerical factor out of the equation, how many people it is. Aren't you a sanctuary city? Or are you just a hypocrite? Yeah. Or a hypocritical Karen Bass, mayor, L.A. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. You can't make it up. You would think, being a mayor, she would have the sense to direct her anger where it should go. Here's the thought. If the federal government and the White House didn't allow these people to come across the border illegally into Texas, they wouldn't be on a bus heading to L.A. Wow, I know, I know, Clarence, you and that common sense. The sad part is that it is the regular folk, the hardworking, decent Los Angelinos, as they call themselves, that will suffer the most. My time's up, y'all, and I got to go. But you already know the drill. Guys, girls. <laughs> Let there be no doubt about it. You are absolutely 100% correct when you say, America, we're not perfect. But for this old boy's money, <laughs> it's the best there is. And God knows there is no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. You already know the good Lord loves you. And I hope you're smart enough to know that I do too. Either way, there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. Take care of yourselves and each other. We'll see you next week. Go Tigers.